Put it in window mode. There we go. Freddy Fish! Thanks for getting the flowers, Sam. <laughs> sure thing, Freddy. They're wonderful. Yes, they sure are. Bye, Sam. <laughs> Bye Freddy. Bye, Sam. <laughs> we'll never see you again. Whoa! The most gender fluid fish in the ocean. Freddy! Freddy Fish! And the case of the missing kelp seeds! No, I do not want a ragey shooter, Croco. Thank you. I have enough with the bullet hell of Undertale. Here, Snappy, you look like you need some cheering up. For me? So, yes, a flower that I literally went two feet away from you to pick! Bye! <laughs> wow, you're the most easy to cheer up turtle in the world. I literally turn around, pick a flower right in front of you, from the ground, give it to you, and you're happy. Hi, Grandma Grouper. Hi, Hi Granny Grouper. Thank you, Freddy. What's wrong, Grandma Grouper? Someone took my treasure chest. Oh, no, your treasure you chest. Can hold all the kelp seeds. Yes, Freddy. Look at the garden. Dying. <laughs> <laughs> Until we find my treasure chest, <laughs> we have no food. God, I love this game. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Oh, thank you. No, I, I'd rather just call the police Here's about it. Butter and jellyfish sandwich for your journey. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. I'll find <sighs> your health <seat. laughs> <laughs> yes, the kelp seeds, not the orca. The kelp seeds. So let's start clicking random things. Because it's a humongous entertainment game, and that's what you do in humongous entertainment games. You... What? You click on a thing, a fish comes out, an egg comes out and hatches into a fish, and then an eye... And then an eye turns into a smile, and I'm scared. I'm not going to click on that anymore. I'm going to click on the starfish now. And it does basically nothing. <laughs> and then the starfish gets tickled. Okay, well, how about that? And what's this? Okay, you want some privacy because you're going to do some naughty stuff. Fine, fine, I'll go. What are you doing? I'm trying to swim a loop de loop. Ow! Uh, how about you do it hey, where hey, there's open hey, water? I can swim a loop de loop. It's easy. <laughs> wow! Let me try again. Yeah, it's, uh, oh my god. Ow! You're. It's a bottle! Luther, a bottle! Isn't it amazing? Wait, wasn't the idea of a note in a bottle that the note wouldn't get wet, but now we're underwater? Go to the old whale bones. Uh... Yay! So now Luther has joined the party. And Grandma Grouper's face is on her sign. We found a purple sea urchin. I found a purple sea urchin! And I pick it up! Because why? I don't know. What's this thing? Sure! Why not? Toot the horn, because it's there. What? Oh, that was a sneeze joke. <laughs> if we could call it a joke... I mean, it's a joke that they think that that's a joke, but uh, anyways. Which way is the old whale bones? I have no fucking idea. I'm gonna go left! I haven't played this game since I was ten. The memories! Whee! 
<laughs> okay. What the heck was that? Anyways, let's go left again. Yes, I think he's much morbid there. Including the giant skull in the background there! Oh my god, what is that? I, I want to go to it now. Giant skull fortress thing. Ah! <laughs> no one gets past Eddie the Eel. Eddie the Eel! We're looking for Grandma Grouper's club treasure. If we don't find it soon, all the fish are gonna die. That includes you, you dumbass. Oh, I've heard that one before. Look, kids. Really, you have? Get out of here before I have to eat you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why not? How about a pe How about a sandwich? You want a sandwich instead? Mmm, yum! Grandma Grouper's famous peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. Wait, famous? I guess I could let you get. Have. The Good luck finding Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. Wait. Uh, uh, wait. So you're. <laughs> You are the least professional bodyguard I've ever seen. Or bouncer. What? Well. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Well, I recorded that little mini stuck scene there. Uh. And then there's. Okay. No, thank you, underwater flower. I don't want to mate with you. Yeah. It, it would appear that Grandpa Cooper is indeed a celebrity because even her. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are like, like, I don't even know. Let's go to the right eye and see. Hey, a purple sea urchin and a shoe. We found another purple sea urchin. That makes two, everybody. Count it with me. One, two. Okay. And then the shoe. So there ain't nothing in there. So let's go to the other eye socket now. You know, this skull is a lot less scary than it looked from the other side. Oh, Robert. Oh. What? Wait, what? Okay, that was the most accurate expression I've ever seen. A no, not Bubbles Fish. I don't know. You can't do that underwater! Anyways. Okay, fair enough. Let's see here. Uh, what does this thing do? Not too much. Okay. Let's go to the nose socket. Let's see, what's in here? Well, okay then! Oh... Uh, what? Gee, this was... What the hell? Gee, this was sure worth wasting my jellyfish sandwich for! <laughs> this game is gonna ruin your ears, why? Um, okay, how do I get the hell out of here? There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we wasted our peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich for no reason at all. Let's go... This way. Apparently we're going to the volcano now! And... Okay. Purple sea urchin! The gate needs to be open more before we can get through. Oh, that's what the purple sea urchins were for. Really? You're telling me you can't squeeze through there, you uh, you fat ass fish. The gate's almost open enough for us to get through. <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah, no, you you could squeeze the through there. Almost open. You there could are more purple sea urchins. 
Fine, I'll go look for more purple sea urchins, you dab goddamn fish. Let's see, I wonder what's down here. I wish th they would have tried. Oh. Why? It's just... Okay, you're right, it is scary. There are umbrellas inside of things. And an infinite number of crabs. And a turtle taking a slide. And a boingy thing and a thing and a thing and another thing. Okay, I'm getting out of there. Hmm. So apparently this was a total waste of time so far. <laughs> so, let's go this way now. To the junkyard! And why did he make a face at me? Purple sea urchin! We found a purple sea urchin! Yay! Good for you! Ready? You're my best friend. Thanks, Luther. You're my best friend, too. What a wonderful thing to say out of absolutely nowhere. It makes me not suspicious at all. Oh, hello, Mr. Star Teacher Fish. I'm Mr. Starfish. So you are. Teacher for today. Welcome to class. How hard do you want the questions to be? Easy. Uh Ooh. Medium, hard, Ooh. Very hard, or advanced. I'm the, okay. Knowing that this game was made for oh man, I'm I'm not sure whether I want to just see the easy ones or see the advanced ones. Let's see the easy, easy. ones first. Let's do some easy problems. Let's see. How many starfish are there? Ten. Ten. Very good. Yay! Counting! You have one question correctly. Let's do another problem. Okay, let's do another problem. How many starfish are on the board? Twelve! Very good. Yay! 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 Yeah, because no I counting is cause for celebration. How many starfish? Very yeah, I got it. Seven. Good. Yay! I want... <laughs> Croc wants the hard Three. things. Problems right. Let's do another problem. Let's not. Let's do the advanced level. But first, let's hit the globe and. Okay, apparently the globe was. What? Uh, yeah, but Earth, the. This is slightly fascinating. For, now, for some reason, when I'm looking at these two shells here, all I see are tits. But that's just me. And eyes! Out of nowhere, eyes! Okay. Let's do the hard problems now. I'm Mr. Starfish. Yes, we know who you are, Mr. Assbag. How hard do you want the advance? It is. Let's see. What is the sum of <laughs> sixty and thirty? This is advanced, really. Ninety. Very good. Well, then again, this is made for a couple year olds. You have answered one question correctly. Now let's try another. Okay. What is 90, 90 minus 8, 82. You're right. I love how you can you tell the 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 cuts in the audio where they like clearly problem. just recorded 80 and 2 separately and put it together. 9 plus 30. <laughs> well, it's not a sex position anymore. Actually, it still is 96. Nope, that's that not. 99. Correct. Try again. Ninety-nine. Very good. We've gotten three questions right. Let's do another problem. No. No, let's what not. <laughs> let's go this way now. Bye, Mr. Assbagfish. Look! Just 
like a dogfish. He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Then stop talking, you dimwits. Oh my god! You idiots! I guess we can get past him. If we had a bone, we could give it to the dogfish and he <laughs> might go away. Sure! That sounds like a great idea! <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so apparently there is absolutely nothing over here for us. So let's go back and this time let's take the other pathway. Vroom. Down this way. Towards the oh The bottle ain't here, boss. Maybe somebody else found the point. <laughs> Maybe somebody else found it first. Of course someone else found it first, you sponge-head! <laughs> Come on, we gotta find that bottle! Oh, we're shark bait! You are sharks! Of course! We are sharks! <laughs> Called it! Number one, number two! I love those two, they're my favorite characters in the game. And... FISH! Another fish of a different color. I wonder how many are in here. As many as there are forever. Boop. What the heck? Okay, that's physics breaking. Yeah, sure. The bite mark in the surfboard just travels around the surfboard. That uh, what? Okay, I'm slightly scared. Anyways, let's get the hell out of there. Wait, why did it make a splashing sound? Uh, again, it made a splashing sound. Why is it uh, okay? The boots. What did you do to deserve a bow? And a wheel. For an... Hi, randomly bicycling octopus. Uh... Okay. And balloons! And... Apparently the, the helium tank is sentient! And I'm scared again. Okay, let's go to the stuck scene. Gabby, mommy's coming. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Let's just watch her struggle for a while, shall we? Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's help her. Pull! 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 I'm giving it all I got, Captain! Oh. Sorry for smooshing you with my ass! Sorry, Luther. Don't mention it. <laughs> the way he said that! Oh, don't mention it! That was nice! Clearly not. Find him. <laughs> no. Try again. Yes, Mrs. Halibut. We'll help Gabby. Ah, eh, fine. We'll help him. Fucking bitch. Lose some weight, you fat so. Anyways. Freddy, Luther, I'm stuck under this rock. Please help me. Ah. I'm stuck. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger board to pry the rock off your fin. Hmm. What's this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what a beautiful shell. 
I'm going to keep this for random reasons and totally ignore you, stuck and unable to get out, and probably going to be dead from sharks soon. Okay, that was fun. Let's leave you to die now. <laughs> did you find my guppy? Yes, Mrs. Howard. Yeah, of course we did. He's he's in there dead. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Hey, look, it's another purple sea urchin. Woohoo! Hey look, it's a board! We can use that to free him! Wooden board! The beach is up there! Let's go to the beach first! Screw him! Fiddler Crab, what's wrong? Oh me oh my, oh me oh my! How did I get in this cage? I must get out of this cage! Please help me get out! And I'll give you my fishing pole! Truly a virtuoso performance! And, uh, if I get him out, he'll give me my fishing, his fishing pole. Okay. Why do the flowers appear and disappear on the thing and, uh... Okay, apparently that was an alien, not a rock. What's over this direction? What? What is this? We have three buckets of jellyfish. I'll toss the jellyfish to the hungry animals and you can keep track, Luther. On your mark! Get set! It's feeding time! Yay! A game of Tempest for little kids. Yay! Because this is. You did great, Freddy. Yay! Three buckets of jellyfish left. That was fun, Freddy. No, it wasn't. It sure was. But we'd better continue our search for Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds. Let's continue the search before all the fish starve to death, even though there's clearly plenty of food. And let's go back down. Hmm. This is the way to the old whale bones. Ah, the old whale bones! That's where we're supposed to go. Hey, look, a key! What a pretty pearl! Let's Ooh. go get it! But, Freddy, how are we gonna get through the net to get the pearl? You fit through, you... What? Hi, Ray! Shh, 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 shh. You can't get through the shrimp net unless you got... The super duper duka booka poly gizmo. The super duper duka booka poly gizmo! Get the super duper duka booka poly gizmo. Unless you give me a clock. Where are we a gonna get a clock? Look in the junkyard. Why? Okay, well, it's key. I wonder what it will unlock. The super duper duka booka poly gizmo can open the net. E, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> shady black market business, exactly. Trading clocks for gizmos to get past nets. <laughs> well, let's go free the crab who sings and gives me his fishing pole. This key should get you out of the cage, fiddler crab. Really? And how are we sure of it? Oh yeah, of course, because it's a kid's game and all keys immediately work for all Time locks. For unlocking the cage. <laughs> You'll sing about anything, won't you? can have my fishing pole. 
fishing pole! Let's go find Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds, Luther. Wait, I want to hear him sing more first. Oh, you're not going to actually put any words to it anymore? Ah, you suck. I'm not going to tip you. So all I did was... Let's go away to the old whale bones. Yes. Let's continue going to the old whale bones. Because we need to find a bone to get past the junkyard dog in the junkyard in order to get a clock so that we can... So that we can trade the clock with Ray for the super duper buku buku poly gizmo in order to get the hey look a bottle in order to get the pearl <laughs> fetch quests go to the junkyard. Oh, okay well we gotta go to the junkyard anyways Grandma Grouper's cup treasure look Luther it's a bone it's a bone. Sword fight with bones. Okay. The anchor floats. What? No, that's not correct. That's not at all correct. What the fuck was that? Okay. Uh, how about, how about we get the hell out of here? Before my nightmares get any worse. <laughs> and, hey, the shark's again! Uh, gee, boss. The kelp treasure ain't here. I don't know why you hid all those bottles. <laughs> I put clues into bottles so I could find my way back to where I hid the kelp treasure. Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid father. The squid father! Not the squid father. I'll clam up, spongehead. Note to self, call people spongehead. <laughs> Sorry, Ray, I didn't find a clock. I found a bone, though. I need to start calling people Spongehead and see if they get the reference. <laughs> Why the hell did you try again, you dumbass fat bitch? What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, Luther. Don't mention it. Gabby, my little is stuck inside that. Yeah, we know. We'll help, Gabby. Let's get him out of there before she gets her fat ass stuck again. I'm still stuck. Yeah, no shit. Help me. No. What are you going to do in return? What are you going to do? What are you going to... Yeah, fuck it. Eh. Luther, come help. Rapook. Sure. One use item. It broke the minute we used it. <laughs> Mommy. Gabby. My Gabby. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> You're welcome, Mrs. Halibut. Please take this purple sea urchin for saving A my A purple family. sea urchin. That's all we get. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You cheap ass fucking bitch. Screw you and everybody who looks like you. Okay, I'm not doing anything else in here. Let's see, where the hell is the junkyard again? Was it over this way? I think it was. Yeah, it was back that way. I know! These, these fish are like... Is are they are they girls? Are they boys? It's so impossible to tell. Should I do more math problems? No. Junkyard is over here. Yeah, no shit. Look, ready to bottle. Now we're gonna be rich, rich, rich. <laughs> but first, 
We have to get past that Wait, hungry that bottle wasn't there before. Where'd the bottle come from if the... You know what, I am not going to point out continuity flaws in a humongous adventure game. <laughs> cause, cause it's besides the point. Anyways, let's take the, the big fish with the bulldog face and give him a fucking bone. Nice doggy. Here's a bone for you. Orange. Looks like the coast is clear. Now we can pick up that bottle. Yay, a bottle! Oh, we also need to find a clock. Whoop! The clue says, go to the king's castle. The kelp treasure must be really <laughs> close now, Luther! And let's go in here. <laughs> Not Whoop. the squid water! Oh, clam up! Spongehead! You lost the treasure, so now you got to see the squid father! Oh, please, boss! Not the squid I'm father! I'm not sure which of these two I like more! The squid father! Oh my god, these are so great! <laughs> hey look, the inside of a car! And... Uh, I don't think that's how a horn works. A clock! Yay! Full punk. Man, this has just got all sorts of like <laughs> stuck related fetish stuff in it, doesn't it? Yeah, now we can get the super duper duper googa booga poly gizmo! The one. Yeah, the. <laughs> I don't know which one is better. The one that calls the other one Spongehead or the, or the dumbass one. I'm, I don't think that's how our radio works. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Well, there you go. There's your broken mirror. Uh, let's get out of here now, and let's go to someplace else. I wonder, where haven't we been yet? Hmm. Hmm. Well, now we're supposed to go to the king's castle, but... Oh, wait. We've got enough sea urchins now to get through the little gate thingy. Let's go to the gate thingy. Which I believe was over here. The volcano is this way. So here we go. Sea urchin! Alright! Now the gate's open! Yay! Now what's here? Well, apparently there's a uh, skateboarding up. Uh, a jack in the box and skateboarding fish that jump into it. Okay. And that's apparently a. S huh? Man, this shit's weird sometimes. Okay, let's go this way. The theater? Wait, theater? The Clamshell Theater. Live show today. Uh, if that's representative of the show, this is gonna suck. It's a great show. No, it's not. I know it's not. Oh, geez, magnificent show! Welcome, girls, boys, and fish of all ages to the greatest show under the sea. We've got that's not to saying much here today, sure to make your gills quiver with delight. 
So my gills put don't your quiver. Together for our first fantastic performance. Frank, By the, way, the fabulous the frog. The parking lot with its lights on. What? <laughs> Yay! Helga the Singing Mermaid, the Amazing Augie, Lukefus on von Bastoven. Oh my God. Carpen Marina, what? <laughs> Is that it? That You didn't even do anything. The Flying Carp Brothers. Hi again, Fun Orca, by the way. This would be a lot more impressive if we weren't underwater and this was actually being affected by gravity. Well, there you go. The Flying Carp Brothers. Let's see, do they put on the same exact show or a different show? Oh, no, it's exactly the same act. Okay. Yay! Dude, what is it? Clovis P. Tortus? Uh. Okay, what is this one now? a thing. Puffo, the amazing expanding fish. Okay, I totally want to rip that off and make that a character. <laughs> Just from the name alone. Puffo, the amazing expanding fish. There is so much material for that that comes to mind. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yay! Well, there you go. That was Puffo the Amazing Expanding Fish. Bump and Gump. What is this now? What? Number one, we're already underwater. Okay! Frank the Fabulous Frog. We already saw him. Helga the Singing Mermaid. Uh, the Amazing Augie, let's just <laughs> forget about Hulk of the Singing Mermaid for now, and let's see what the host of the show can do. Well, that wasn't a lot. <laughs> Luke Fisch Va von Bastoven. Okay, let's do this one now. And what? Okay. What the heck was that? <laughs> no, we've seen Maria. We've seen the. 
tour is no that okay have we gone through all the acts yes we have okay let's get the fuck out of here because this i was right the first time this show sucks <laughs> A statue eating! Gee, this was really worth all those, all those, uh, those sea urchins that I used to open the gate. <laughs> then again, I'm not sure what else I could have possibly used them for, but still. Anyway, let's never go back to the volcano again. <laughs> let's go back this way. Uh, let's trade the clock for the super duper, du super duper duka buka poly gizmo. If we can remember what the hell the junkyard is, or the thing is, whatever. Nope, that's the junkyard that way. And stop making faces at me, Luther. Let's see. What do we got now? Um, I'm ever so slightly lost. Apparently not anymore. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Well, the king's place is that way, so let's go there later. And past. And keep going. And here we go. Yeah, let's get the big pearl from the. You need to find another bottle, Luther. Right. This is the way to the old whale bones. It's also the way to trade the clock to Ray. Which, by the way, Ray is one of my favorite characters in this. Here you go. I found a clock. The clock. You're welcome, Ray. Now you get the super duper duka buka poly gizmo. Thank you for the super duper duka buka poly gizmo. Nice doing business with you. That's probably the best joke of this thing is that they could, could they give this thing a super long name and they continually refer to it by the whole name. That's just good comedy. Wonder what Ray does now. What? How did you do that? Yeah, that's the way bubbles are supposed to look. How did you blow pyramids before? And what is that? Okay, apparently he's a vorophile as well. And now he's blowing cubes! And then regular bubbles again. Ray is weird. I don't see how this thing is gonna get us through the net. <laughs> oh, that's how. Well, there you go. Watch the pearl closely. Oh boy. Shell game! Try to find the pearl. Let's see. Yay! You found the pearl! Wonderful! Take this pearl as your prize. But only one pearl per customer. Thanks! Okay, that was a fun little distraction thingy. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. Hi! Apparently they don't care. The Super Duper Duka Buka Poly Gizmo. Can we trade this back for the clock? Nope, apparently not. Oh well. So now we don't need to go by Ray. We'll never need to go by you again. Probably. So now we have a pearl. So we went. Let me let me see. What was the, what was the fetch quest we did to get that pearl? We went, we went to the, we had to go to the old whale bones to get a bone to trick the guard at the junkyard in order to get a clock to trade with Ray for the super duper duka buka poly gizmo in order to get past the net in order to get inside to play the shell game to get the pearl. And let me guess, we need to use the pearl now to trade with the king or something. Turn that shell down. I wish I could get some sleep, Freddy, but this shell. It glows all day. It glows all night. It's almost as annoying as my accent. Oh, yeah, doesn't glow. How about this one that I found earlier? I brought you a new shell that doesn't glow. Frabby, frabby, frabby. 
It's wonderful! Just a second! Here, Freddy. Maybe you can use this glowing shell. Thank you, Herman. Good night. Luther, we should hurry up and find the kelp treasure. I know, fin space for the win. <laughs> that giant shell hidden completely. Herman sure is a sleepy head. Well, yeah, if your house glowed every day, day in and day out, you would be sleepy too. Welcome to King Crab's Castle. To King Crab's Castle. Can you say something else in unison, please? Or maybe bang yourself in the head with a fork and you do the same. And then no fish. What? We hey, look, a sea urchin. Yay! Um... Whee! Apparently. Alright, let's go into the king's house. <laughs> you know, I wonder, of, of which characters here, which would be the most likely to have come out into the real world if they were to wake up? Hmm... Yo, know, I'd I'd be willing to bet it'd be the two sharks. There. <laughs> okay, tickle a rock and it laughs. Okay. And hey, there's a there's a bottle again. Hi, King Crab. Greetings, Freddy and Luther. You are most welcome in my castle. Thanks. Even though we don't know why. Bottle! Crab, may I please have that bottle? I would gladly give you this beautiful bottle if you would give me a beautiful pearl. Wait, why couldn't I have traded that bottle for the bottle that I already had? Number one and number two, that's not a very fair trade, Mr. King. A bottle for a pearl? A pearl is worth thousands of fucking dollars! I mean, granted, we're fish, we don't use in economics, but... Jesus Christ, that's not a good deal for me! And... What? And besides, I think one of your pearls is, uh... Is an alien in disguise or something? So let's see... We've got a... a yeah, apparently your place is infested, King. I'm sorry to break it to you, but, uh, yeah, your place is totally beyond infestation. Anyways, let's give you a fucking pearl. Ooh. <laughs> that face! Oh my god, that face! Ooh. Oh my god. Yay! Alright! The message says the treasure is hidden in the sunken ship. The sunken ship? Where the hell is that? Go get the kelp seeds at the old ship. I know just where that is. I do hope you'll find Grandma Grouper's treasure. Yeah, thanks for the help, Mr. King. Oh my god, the squid father. I've forgotten how wonderful he looks. So I could find my way back to the treasure. I thought I put the first bottle at the Nexus. Let us in our But but the squid father. Oh, was the first bottle with the king? Come on, Spongehead. Just find a bottle and you would have gotten on the trail. I like the catfish that he's holding. Oh no, he's spewing ink! I remember where the treasure is! Come on, spongehead! Look, Luther, the sunken ship! This is where Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure 
treasure should be. Yes. That old shipwreck has held so many treasures over so many years. We're looking for Grandma Grouper's treasure. Good luck, mates. <laughs> All right. Uh. Okay. Yeah, a quarter of every time you hear Spongehead. <laughs> totally. <laughs> hey, you should go work for the show. You're not you're not much worse than they were. That old ship sailed through hurricanes, typhoons, thunder and lightning. Then why is it down here? Down in the great culp of Ort 7. Culp of 2007? Wait, this game wasn't made in 2007. Wait, the, is this a post-apocalyptic hey, future? Behind that window? Gee, I wonder, could it be the treasure? Look, Luther! Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is in Of there. course it is! Now I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! <laughs> Luther, Grandma Grouper's cup treasure is for everyone to share. And besides, the window is closed, and it's much too heavy to open. <laughs> if we can find the handle for the crank, we can crank open the window and swim inside. Uh huh. Find a crank handle. <sighs> too bad you need a crank handle and not just a crank, because you two are cranks. Hey, that was that was as good a joke as any joke in this game. Um. So apparently, clicking on the sword didn't do anything. Let's see, what is clicking on? A snake! There's a snake underwater! That apparently gravity... Uh, something. And... Baseball? What? Okay. Anyway, let's go look inside for the crank. What's this now? Hey, look! It's the Holy Grail! And hi! Hi to you as well. And you're juggling! Right. So, what? Oh, dear. Okay, that's a weird thing. Anyway, let's go down here now. <laughs> Cause we got no other place to go apparently. Hmm. Well, apparently there's something inside the wardrobe there. What's in this book though? A mist book, apparently. Sure, cause the bird hasn't drowned yet. And this is a and starring Sam Miller. Starring Sam Miller. And it washes without washing. And it washes without washing. Alright, that's enough TV. Arrgh, you little ones. I'm Phineas McFinn, the finest sailor on the seven seas. Arrgh. And... Arrgh. There's just one word that says it all. Arrgh. Arrgh when I'm happy. Hard when I'm sad. Hard when I'm good or bad. Hard. Hard to port. Hard to starboard. Hard from stem to stern. Hard. Hard, yes, wabby. Hard. And a yo ho ho hum hum, my chum. Hard. What's that you say? Hard. I can't hear ya. Hard. One more time. Hard. Very good. Excellent. In fact, arg, arg, the handle is broken. Arg, if you could find old Phineas another musical, It's the worst I best song ever. Useless the arg song. <laughs> it is the it is the worst best song and the best worst song at the same time. It is just amazing. Anyways, let's go back up and now let's get him something else to play. Um, ah, the crutch. That crutch might come in handy. It sure could. 
Hey, look! Advertisement for Humongous Entertainment! Beardless Blub? Or Human Form of Fatty Bear! That's a little bit scary. Uh, why did that cannon shoot a bubble in the shape of putt putt? And a dinosaur, and a dinosaur again, and putt putt again. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that. Um. Oh yeah, let's go up and out now. So let's go... <laughs> I love fetch quests in this game. Okay, so what have we done? We had to go to the... To the to the pirate guy to have him sing his saw, arg song, break the crank handle, then trade it... Then... Uh, this mandolin is a fine musical instrument, but a lousy crutch. And trade the crutch, like this crutch? for the mandolin. Aye. Me old crutch. Thanks, matey. Now I don't need this old mandolin. Would you like it? Yes, I don't, please. but I know hey. someone who does. So, to recap. We need to get the treasure inside of the windowed area, and in order to get into the window, we need to get the crank, which is the crank to the music box of the pirate, which is broken off only after he played the ARG song, and so we need to get him a new musical instrument, so we need to trade a crutch for a mandolin, which was being used as a crutch, in order to get the... Uh, oh my god, the fetch quests in this game are ridiculous. <laughs> Then again, in all of them are ridiculous. Anyways. Come on back out. I got a mandolin for you. Phineas, here's another musical instrument for you. Great. Here, take this crank handle. Thanks, Phineas. Arg. There's just one word that says it all. Arg. Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg to port, arg to starboard, arg from stem to stern. Arg, yes, wabby, arg. And a yo ho ho hum hum, my chum. Arg. What's that you say? Arg. I can't hear ya. Arg. One more time. Arg. Very good. Excellent. In fact, arg. There you go, back into your hole. The ARG song. Oh, who cares whether it sounds like an actual mandolin or not? It's a, it's the, it's the humongous entertainment game. Nothing sounds accurate. All right, so let's recap before we turn the crank and get inside and get the treasure. We had to. So the big thing that we needed to do was we needed to to trade a pearl for the bottle at the king's lair. In order to get the pearl, we had to get the super duper duka booga poly gizmo from Ray. So we had to go get a clock from the junkyard. And in order to access the junkyard, we needed to go get the bone from the whale boneyard in order to pacify the dog who was guarding the junkyard. <laughs> Oh my god, this game. Yay! Let's go get Grandma Grouper's kelp seed. Let's go get the treasure! Woohoo! We found Grandma Grouper's treasure chest! You sure did! Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure! Uh oh! The sharks! Uh -oh. Told 
Don't you wait find the treasure, boss? Okay, you two. Hand over the treasure. No. Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are for everyone to share. But we gotta take the treasure to the squid father. So we can grow some kelp. If we share the seeds, we can all grow kelp. Share the kelp seeds? Gee, boss. The kelp seeds are for everyone. We then why is the I got an idea. We can share the kelp seeds. Really? Idea. It's your idea! Yeah, sure it was, you fucking mobster <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> Let's go tell the squid father we're all going to share. And then the squid father is going to eat you because he doesn't like that idea. <laughs> I... And yet, because you couldn't carry it before, but now you can with no problem. Yay! I don't know what sharks would do with kelp. That's a, the eternal question of this game. Yay! You found the treasure! Yes, we did. You fat ass. <laughs> Freddy, you found the treasure! I sure did! Now maybe this will teach you to not hide all your goddamn food in one place, you I idiot. Treasure, Grandma Cooper. Well, okay, Freddy helps a little, but <laughs> I figured it out. Very brave. Exactly, Croc. Children making deals in the black market, freeing prisoners, gambling with the shell game, and negotiating with mobsters. That is exactly this game. Kelp! Yay! I was very brave, Grandma Grouper. There were these big mean sharks. There must have been 50 sharks. No, there were two. I, I didn't even fight them. Swimming loop de loops. And you weren't swimming loop de loops. In fact, you were too dumb to swim a loop de loop. That's the whole reason this adventure started! whole thing started when you kept bonking your head from trying to swim loop-de-loops. Bubbles! That... what? Hula hoop! Yeah, because hula hoop makes sense. Um, uh, and... Right. Designed by Ron Gilbert. The same Ron Gilbert who made Maniac Mansion. And all the other... Lucas Entertainment Arts point and click games. More hula hooping! And a bubble that does nothing. Ah! Don't eat my cursor! Oh no! I think that's about enough. Ready? Really? You're melting? Why are you melting? Anyways. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Freddy Fish! Yay! That was Freddy Fish in the case of the missing kelp seeds. Also known as one of the dumbest, silliest, stupidest underwater games ever, and it's absolutely awesome. <laughs> I have nothing else to say about it. <laughs> Uh, I think it's about time I took a little bit of a break, so I'm going to pause the recording.